Don't you touch that remote. The show is about to start. You should have grabbed your snack like five minutes ago. <sighs> oh well. Grab it anyway. It's big quick. And I know you've got your blanket. And I see you've got your tea. Or hot cocoa. I'm not sure what that is. You've got a drink. That's good. Just get comfortable. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Howdy folks, welcome back to Nancy Drew, Message in a Haunted Mansion. Thank you so much for joining me on this exciting adventure. We are about to begin. And before I even mention anything, oh my goodness. So I just turned on my volume here. Um, wow, we're recording. Hello. <laughs> you can see me now. This is so interesting. So exciting. Cool, right? <laughs> um, yeah, new setup. So, nothing's changed though. It's the same old Let's Play. And we're going to jump into it. It's just now you can see me. And uh, if I get scared, you're going to probably see me act a fool now. <laughs> All on camera. Okay. Well, let me just review my notes here. Now that you can see me. Now that you can actually see my notes. These are my notes on my beautiful little purple page here. I love my purple purple everything. I've got a purple journal. i got a purple hand fan. I've got uh, uh, this beautiful purple notepads. Obsessed with purple. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's begin. I'm a little distracted right now. This is, my, this is the first time recording with the webcam and mic and <laughs> How cool. Yeah, so, uh, let's recap. Where were we here with Nancy Drew? Um, yeah, so, we had a fire in the house. We had a fire, and we, um, we went back into Abby's room to see if there was any kind of, uh, any more hints or any more clues to lead us to, uh, or to solidify her suspicion, our suspicion about her. I feel like I should take these off. I feel like there's like a glare and then, oh maybe not, I can kind of see a reflection in the webcam, I can't see quite a glare. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. Let's get back into it because I, I, the one thing, the main things we need to check here um, for that we didn't do in the last episode was first of all the floppy disk that we got from Charlie right here. Um, we haven't seen what's on there. It says term paper, but we don't know. It might not be a term paper at all, you know what I'm saying? So, we're going to check up on that. We're going to make sure um, Charlie is, is innocent. Alright, so you got your tea? Good, you got your tea? Or your hot cocoa? Or whatever that is you're drinking there? It looks good, so good. You just, you keep that close. You're going to need something. And you got a blanket? Good, good. I see you got a nice big comfy blanket. I've got a blanket too, but I'm a little, I'm very warm and I'm my robe, I love my robe, <laughs> and my silk pajamas, <laughs> see, oh, and purple, see, I love purple, purple everywhere, love purple, <laughs> okay, yes, and you're comfy, comfortable, that's the most important part, so make sure you're comfy and ready to go, all right, well, let's jump right into this, folks, I've got my notes, and these are my notes right now for Nancy Drew, I know, quite a mess, right, all my Nancy Drew notes always look very similar, just a bunch of random, oh my gosh, I'm gonna write that down, not very organized so yeah I don't know what your notes look like but I make sure to keep my notes right here at the bottom of my let's play guidelines all right now that you've seen into my world a little bit and you'll be seeing more of it this is the first episode I have the webcam on top of the monitoring eventually I'll probably reposition it and you guys can see the rest of my desk and we'll do a tour but anyways that's another day another time let's get into this let's go I'm very scared okay hey Rose hello Hello. I can see you're busy. I'll, I'll let, let you go. go. Bye, Nancy. Bye, Nancy. All right. So, Rose, there's not much going on with Rose right now. Um, I think the last thing we helped her do in the house was this dumbwaiter. We helped repair the dumbwaiter. Um, 
about what we need to do. Let's look at the time here. It's one uh, one forty-five. It's 1.45 in the afternoon. Let's see when Louie, once again, I, I'm so glad they actually have his schedule here to look at because I always forget when, when, he's, in, uh, when he's in the library. <laughs> now it says here, and he's here from noon to five. So, lucky for Nancy, we're gonna have a little nap. We're gonna have a little slumber party before we hack him to his lap. And let's just do it differently. Let's just go up the back steps for once, the creepy old back steps. Now, before we do that though, I kind of want to see if we can say Hello. Abby. Ah, that's a good question. Does Charlie live around here? I'm not sure. He said he's between apartments. I think he said he's staying with friends until he can mm -hmm. find a place of his own. Mm-hmm. I think Charlie is either very suspicious with that whole situation, or, or he's just very shameful. He, he's ashamed, and he shouldn't be. He shouldn't be ashamed. He's working very hard. But that does seem kind of odd. So Nancy, you go right ahead. Between apartments? That seems kind of odd. Not for San Francisco. Rents are really high, and there are so many kids thinking they can find cheap housing out here. It's sad to say, but a lot of them end up on the streets. See, and that's why he shouldn't be shameful. If he can't, if he can't find a place to stay, and he's kind of secretly staying where he's working, uh, I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Together. Bye bye. <laughs> he's probably one of those people. <laughs> so maybe Abby is just not being so, um, uh, so sensitive and considerate to our friend Charlie. I don't think he's suspicious. I don't know what he. I don't think he's very suspicious. On my notes, I don't really have anything, uh, any kind of concrete evidence to think that Charlie is suspicious. I think Abby and Louie are in our top suspicion spots at the moment. First of all, because as we know, Abby is the one behind like 80%, 85% of the hauntings here. They are man-made and not paranormal. So... It kind of leaves me to think that she's the one, but we don't know. We don't know. No, we can't leave. We put all of our bags in one basket. You know what I'm saying? Oh wow, that's much louder in the headset. Oh God, wakey wakey, eggs and bakey. All right, folks, let's go into the library. Library, 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 library. <laughs> Oopsie, I'm going backwards on the staircase. Have a little dance on the staircase. If I start doing that, I'll make the other side of the staircase creaky too. So let's not do that. All right, Louie, I'm going to just jump into your laptop. <laughs> oh, and we still don't know the login, do we? Shoot. Okay, well, that's fine. We can do the maze game again. <laughs> this will be the third time now we've done this maze. Oh, it's different. Ooh, I like all the ivy. And we got some flowers up there. Well, this is cute. Now let's just, it, oh, it looks a little harder. I think it knows. I think the game knows how many times we've had to jump in. I'm starting to think too that there never was supposed to be a username. We got the password, but I don't know. Do you guys know about that? Do you know if there is a username that I could <laughs> I could use and make our lives a lot easier? I can't remember. Did we walk into this guy's face? A oh, very creepy, very, very, very creepy. Nope. He's just a he's just a block in the system. Okay, and that's another block in the system. Holy! Yeah, they definitely make it a little more challenging for us because this is a lot different now. <laughs> it's not right around the corner. Ah, oh, finally. Oh, wait. That's just a light switch. Well, gosh darn tootin'. Oh, that's a dead end. Oh, my God. Oh, I turned the lights off. Okay, I should turn them back on. <laughs> this house is creepy as it is. We don't need the virtual world to also be a creepy place as well. Because... I don't think there's any pop-ups in this maze, but 
you never know. You just, you never know. If I had this set up as my uh, fail safe for my login information on my laptop, I would definitely make it very, very tricky and scary for people. Lots of pop-ups. Uh, oh, is this it? Oh, what? Oh my word, folks. This is like, this is, oh, it looks like his head's moving when I, when I come around here. Yeah, I need that username. If you got, <laughs> excuse me, if you got the username in your notes, please tell me what it is. Or perhaps I could just look it up real quick, too. I mean, I, you know I don't like to do that, but hey, if it makes it go by a little quicker, save some time, because we've already, we must have already spent four or five minutes doing this. Oh my word. Okay. Okay, so I'm not going to take the long way. I'm going to try to come in here and, okay, there ain't nothing here. So, yeah, it looks like we're going a little further. I think that the blue up there is supposed to represent sky, but it looks like water. Oh, we figured it out, folks. We made it to the end. Let's jump in the portal. Boom. Okay, floppy disk. All right, Charlie, what are you up to? Not available. Oh, you know what? I have to load it. I think I... <laughs> oh. I have to load the floppy disk and then log in. Oh! Gosh darn tootin'. Well, that just sucks, doesn't it? Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Huh? Well, that's weird. I don't know how we're going to get into this. All right, folks. Uno momento here. Give me a hot minute. I am going to figure out the, the username here. I never usually cheat. And even when there was no camera, y'all got to know I wasn't sitting here cheating. I never do that. I play the game as it is. And so should you. However, though, if you guys are ever in a pickle and you really need some information, I highly recommend I've been using it since I was like 12, uh, yeah, probably like 12 years old, is Universal Hint System, UHS for short. If you go online and go to Universal Hint System and search up literally any Nancy Drew game after it, it will give you a um, step-by-step walkthrough with with basically everything, but it has all the great details in there. And eventually at the end of the, the hints, it'll actually give you the answer if you're still stumped. Um, it is impeccable for these games. Like it's almost, you, you probably visit it at least once or twice within a mystery. This one, not so much, but this is just one of those things where it's like, that's that's kind of annoying. <laughs> Message in a Haunted Mansion, uh, Louis, Louis Login, Louis Login, let's see here. What is the login to your computer, Louis? Look at the files, find the login is Louis. Guys, the login is just his name. How silly am I? Okay, I need my purple pen. <laughs> and I'm gonna write down, finally, about, oh, sorry. Still getting used to this. <laughs> login, I have the password as antique, so I'm gonna put right above that login, Louie. Y'all adding that too? I mean, it's not necessary because I got it now, but. Okay, Louie. Oh, it might be case sensitive, so we'll just do that. And then we put antiques, like so. Yay! We did it, folks. We did it. Okay. Now we can get in whenever we need to. Yada, yada. So this is not available. I don't understand um, how that works. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So maybe we're not meant to look at the term paper then. Maybe that's maybe that's uh out of the question. I don't know. Because we can't really access the computer in any sort of way. Um we've been in his briefcase. Louis' briefcase. I'm thinking we should visit Charlie because we found out that he lives in the basement. And we never really confronted him, so maybe if we talk to him first, he will give us more reason to investigate further. <gasps> He's not here! Gosh darn it. 
Oh, gosh darn it, y'all. I think we're going to have to have another nap. Yep. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to take another snooze here, guys. Okay, we're going to take the creepy back way again. <laughs> uh, when is he in? I think he's in at 9 a.m. Or 8 a.m. But we'll let Nancy sleep until 9. You can have a nice rest, Nancy. You deserve it. Oops. Uh, yeah. 9 a.m. On the dot. Ah, I don't like that noise. <sighs> Morning, Nancy. Good morning, Nancy. Aw, she's so cute. Don't you just love Nancy? I love her so much. What a sweetheart. It's she's funny though. She only mentions she only says good morning to herself when she has a big sleep. Because if you just notice there, we we let her sleep over twelve hours. She just woke up after a thirteen hour nap. So if you're not ready to investigate after a thirteen hour sleep, something's probably not right. Hi Nancy. What's up? You should probably visit your doctor. <laughs> Uh, oh, 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 wow, all this time we were confronting Abby, and now look at, now instead of confront her, it's confront him. <laughs> Charlie, I know your secret. I know you're living in the hidden room behind the saloon. Please don't tell Rose. I have no place to stay. Oh, we won't tell, Charlie. We won't tell. How did, How you, did find you find the room? Yeah. I was homeless, question. camping out in parks. Aww. One day I was looking for a place to get out of the rain, so I ducked under some bushes and found this hidden panel that led to the secret room. Nancy, I didn't mean any harm. I just needed a place to live. Hmm. So there's a panel outside of the house, too, that accesses that room? Not just the fireplace. We could have went outside and used the secret panel instead of freaking climbing through that mucky, disgusting old sooty fireplace. Well, that could have saved some laundry. <laughs> um... Oh, I like that exchange. Mm -hmm. I really mm -hmm. think you should tell Rose. But yeah. I'll keep your secret if you help me out. It's a deal, and I will tell Rose. What do you need? Aw, thank you, Charlie. <laughs> yes, now we've seen... Uh, what... Uh, wait a minute. What other secrets do you know about this house? Is he finally going to be honest with us? What other secrets do you know about this house? I have seen some odd things down here, like Abby's seance. Yeah, but Abby's seance was falsified. <laughs> Had you come across any hidden passageways down here? You mean like a trap door leading to a room with skeletons or something? No, I haven't. Well, I'm surprised you I'll had... let you get back to I'm your renovation. You find... See you around, and thanks, Nancy, for keeping my secret. I'll tell Rose. Aww. Good man. Good, honest, hardworking, uh, humble man. I'm really starting to love Charlie. <laughs> I just want to run away to a, another Victorian mansion with him. And just, just live in, <laughs> live in solitude for the rest of our lives. Okay, so we're not gonna tell Rose, and we've confronted Charlie. So, you know, I'm a little stumped as to what we need to do next. We have a key. We have a scraper, a screwdriver. We have the notes from the piano, uh, the tape cassette with the voice recordings that Abby used in the seance. We have this golden pendant that is some kind of Chinese calligraphy symbol that I think will open something eventually. So I think we just need to hold on to that one. And we have the key to the attic, the key to the desk, the lamp, the floppy desk, you know. Um, let's talk to Louie. I feel like we, we might have... Uh, exhausted all of our verbal um, narrative with him. I'm still not sure. Oh no, he's not here though. Huh. Something tells me we still need to get to that briefcase, and we might have enough time to do so. But better safe than sorry, I'm gonna make a quick dash to the kitchen to figure out when Lily will come in and possibly catch us. We need to have our bases covered. I'm avoiding Rose because I know the option will come up to tell her about Charlie. Okay, noon to five. So what do we got here? It's now nine uh, nine forty-five. Okay, we've we've got some time. Okay, okay, we could do this, right? <laughs> ah, let's run over there. Oh my god, I'm trying to run. 
it's very hard to run <laughs> in this game. I, you know what? I wouldn't want to run around a house like this though, either. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'd I'd break something. Oh, okay. Is this the right side? Yeah, it is. Okay. So we're gonna go back to our notes, folks. Four six five three. Perfect. And this side, four, eight, six, eight. Beautiful. All right, we're back in the briefcase. Ah, okay, I don't think we saw this. What's this? Hidden treasure in our homes. Mr. Oralman is an expert in the colonial history of California. He'll give a seminar on treasure hunting techniques at the upcoming Fortune Hunter Expo in San Jose later this year. I have consulted and worked on the restoration of hundreds of California homestead ranches and villages with the village of the village of the treasure of the village 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 of the because it seems here, if he circled this little tidbit that has to do with finding gold bullion in old secret compartments in old Victorian mansions, and he happens to be working in an old Victorian mansion that has a lot, a lot, a lot of evidence supporting that there is hidden gold in this home, it makes sense that he's looking for it. I think he's using his historian... Uh, skills not to restore the home but to find this gold he's becoming very suspicious I'm surprised we missed this in the last uh, episode I, I was not being very vigilant actually I was more worried of getting out of here before uh, before he hung us or er, oh, wait <laughs> not before he hung us before he caught us <laughs> so I, I was focusing on this here that just looks weird that's a very interesting ad <laughs> okay all right, so we're done with this book. Can I can I close the book or the magazine? Okay, great. Okay, I think we read this letter. Yes. Wait, did we read this? I would like to sell their collection of post-war bullet. Right, 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 right. This is where he's kind of speaking on behalf of Rose, and he really has no right to be doing so. Ah. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do, folks? This is just for shits and gigs. Um. It might give us some information, but I want to write down this phone number, and I feel like I already did. I thought I did somewhere. No, I didn't. Okay, so we're going to put in four... What is it here? Four, one, five. Five, five, five. Seven, six, three, five. Okay, let's call that number. Let's see what we get. Maybe we can learn more about our friend Louie here. And there's another reference to Nancy Drew, uh, Stay Tuned for Danger, which is the second game in the series just before this one. I love all the references to the old games. Oh! Oh, shit. Why did I close it? Wait, what time is it? I got time. I need to reopen that just because I, I didn't think to check the insert uh, in, in the front of the uh, briefcase. Uh, 4653. Four, six, five, three. I'm gonna become a pro at this after a while. Breaking into this man's freaking briefcase five times a day, seven days a week. <laughs> yeah, we know what that's about. All right, let's see here. Look, one last check. Okay, that's gonna close the briefcase, so nothing up there. Check that. We've checked. Uh, hmm, Gumbo Fu, what's that? Right. Right, right, right. Oh, we need to ask. Okay, okay. I, I've remembered now. We need to ask Louie what, uh, what gumbo foo means. So, let's wait till noon. Um, let's talk to Rose. Maybe Charlie's had a chance to, to let her know. Hello. Oh, never, never mind. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Don't work too hard. Impossible for us, Rose. And impossible for you, too. Practice what you preach. <laughs> We're working way too hard, girl. Way too hard. She's gonna need a vacation after all this. Ah, heck! Nancy's gonna need a vacation after all this. Okay, I kinda wanna play with this goose. Is it gonna move? No. 
It only moved that one time. Interesting. All right, let's call Bess and George. I feel like they might have a clue for us in the meantime while we're waiting for Louie to return to the library. Technically though, if you think about it, if we're sitting here on the phone in the parlor, if he's gonna go into the library, he should pass by us, right? I mean, our backs to him and we're on the phone, but. Drew residence, Hannah Groon Oops, speaking. I Hi <laughs> Hannah. Hi Nancy. My bad, I called, I called Hannah instead. Oh well, that's fine. Let's catch up with Hannah. I met Rose's handyman, Charlie. He seems nice. Rose told me he's a fine young fellow, but a little rough around the edges. Oh. I believe she said he's studying history at a community college. He certainly is. He's learning quite a lot living here, too. Has Rose said anything about him and the accidents? Nothing particular. Well. I know she's concerned that Charlie may have inadvertently caused mm -hmm. some of them, but she doesn't think it was intentional. I think the physical accidents in the house maybe were him. To some extent, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. But I don't think the paranormal stuff is him at all. I think it's Abby. Did you know Rose has Just a resident that. expert on Victorians? Oh, yes. Rose has mentioned Lewis several times. She's really fond of him and is very grateful for his help. Hmm. Seance. Yeah, how has he been helpful? That's how what I'd like to helpful? know. He's found some Victorian antiques at good prices and he's making sure the renovations are done correctly. I guess that's what he's getting paid for, but I haven't seen a lot of that work. Hold on one moment, folks. I have to pee so bad. I'm back. I'm back. I'm the quickest peer in the world. I'll go ahead and take my award anytime now. Um, <clears throat> all right, so we asked about Louie, and what does he do? I mean, really, though. Huh? Have you heard about the seance Abby hosted for Se Rose and me? Seance? Good heavens. <laughs> I like Hannah. Oh, sorry. I think I paused my timer here. I do keep a little timer, y'all, right here on the side. Just make sure the episodes aren't too long because uh, in the last couple episodes, I got a little carried away. Sorry about that, guys. Having y'all sit here for half an hour, <laughs> 45 minutes. Ah. Has Rose ever mentioned someone by the name of Valdez? No, she never mentioned the name. Hmm. Weird. Ah, yeah. Abby faked the seance. Mm. She rigged a table with a projector. Well, you didn't think it was for real, did you? Oh, we were scared Don't worry, for a moment. Rose, about we this. She has enough on her mind already. I agree. I agree. I just can't imagine why Abby would go to all that trouble. I don't either, and that's what makes her suspicious. Because if she's a ta if she's an investor, a co-investor in this place, why would she want to cause all that trouble? I just found a hidden attic. Makes sense. I wonder if it has anything to do with all these accidents. Hmm, perhaps it does. Nancy, keep this a secret until you get to the bottom of these strange events. Don't even tell Rose. The less everyone knows, the more you can investigate without creating suspicion. Aha, uh -huh. you see. Nancy was raised right. I know her mother died at a young age, but this Hannah has really picked up in the uh, investigative encouragement department. Pardon me. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, she's definitely been a great encouragement in the, in the investigation department. You can tell. There was a fire in the parlor, but I put it out in time. Thank goodness. I just hope nobody was hurt. Rose told me she was afraid that house was a fire trap. I'm just so glad you were there to save the place. Well, we, uh, we saw the fire extinguisher there earlier, so, you know, we knew something was going to happen eventually, didn't we, guys? Hannah, mm -hmm. do you think Rose could have started the fire to collect the insurance on the house? No, not at all. Rose loves that house. It's her dream come true. 
I can't imagine her doing something like that. She's very determined to open that B&B. She is. So I don't think, I think Rose is off of our suspicion list. Especially now that we're getting credible um, testament from Hannah Gruen, her best friend and Nancy's housekeeper, and basically mother since her mother passed. I think we can take her word for it that Rose would not do such a thing. And I think, I just, I mean, come on, it's Rose Green. Let's go. Or let's let's be honest here. Lewis is up anything. to something. But Lewis on the I other hand, yes. I saw him take a book from the library. Yes. That doesn't sound very suspicious. What was the book about? Lewis's book mentioned that this house was once called Gumbo Foo in the 1800s. That's nice, dear. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> But give Emily a call. She knows all about San Francisco That's nice, legends. That's dear. I have no idea what you're talking about. But thanks for telling me anyway. <laughs> I should get back to work. Goodbye. Have a good day. Aw. <laughs> Time is it. Okay, so Louie's in the library now. But I think, I think, I think, I think it's worth us just giving a call to everyone here. Let's just update with everyone. See if we can learn something new. Or get some answers. That's the... Emily Foxworth speaking. Hello, it's Nancy Drew. Hey, Emily Hi, Foxworth. Nancy. How's your case coming along? Hi, Nancy. How's your case coming along? Gumbo foo. Do you know what the words gumbo foo mean? Hmm, sounds Chinese to me. Mm -hmm. Why don't you ask everyone what they think it means? It may have something to do with the house. Did you hear In that, the guys? meantime, I'll <laughs> ask my friends guys? about it. Gumbo A door food. open and shut. I think Louie just walked behind us. And okay, remember how I was mentioning that earlier? How if we're in here, he we would certainly hear him come through. I think we just heard him come through. I didn't think you're actually gonna add that, so that just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I've got goosebumps. My hairs are standing up. I actually thought that was another haunting. I was very scared. Took a minute there. <gasps> but yeah, rewind it at 10 seconds and you'll see what I'm saying. Oh. Looks like we're out of time, folks. I should get going. Goodbye, Emily. Call anytime. It's all right. We'll, we'll extend this episode just a few minutes. I, I want to at least get in contact. We need to update um, our case with Bess and George. We need to confront Louie, and then we can we can say goodbye for now. Da, da, da. Six eight. I really love this phone. I wish I had this phone. Just like right here. Hello? Oh, God. Hello? <laughs> Hi, Bess. Hello, what's new? Oh, lots, apparently. There was a we small fire in the house, but luckily I put it out. But the old papers that Abby found were destroyed. Things are really starting to heat up, Nancy. Ugh, mm -hmm. so are the bad puns. <laughs> Why would someone want to burn those papers? I bet there was something in them that was important. I'd take another look at the scene of the fire for any clues. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Okay. I found a secret room in the basement, Seems and it looks like, like someone is living room. there. Who could it be? Probably Charlie. Doesn't he spend most of his time down there? Look around well, for clues. Who knows what he's up to? So we gotta check out Charlie and the crime scene. Okay. Do either of you know what gumbo foo means? It sounds Chinese. Call Emily. She'll know. She didn't know. <laughs> All right, girls. I need a hint. Can you guys give me a clue? I'm not sure what to do next. Talk to people about that gumbo foo. Right. Okay, then check yes. to see what Rose has to say. Fabulous. We're on the same page then. Um, I should get bye. going. Talk to you later. <laughs> Goodbye. All right. So what we were going to do is talk to Louie about gumbo foo, which the girls have suggested as well. But they also suggested I check the crime scene again. And I I don't really see much. Of course, we have that piece, which we have already read. We've seen that piece. So I I don't, I really don't think there's much else here to, uh, to work with in the way of, um, the crime scene. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else. So I think we're good. I think we're good there. I think we've done everything we can. However, Louie. Oh, wait, what? Oh, he took his briefcase and left. Unless he's in there. What time is it? I'm scared. Should we go back there and try to stalk him again? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it quickly. Quickly. Okay, nothing. Nothing to report. I don't think he's gonna come back. So let's just, uh, yeah, let's just wait a while. Actually, you know what? I think it's time for another nap. Yeah. Let's have a quick nap. Oh. It is now one. Oh, maybe he's in there now. Oof. I'm sorry. I'm uh, <laughs> I have these new this new headset, right? And it's uh, it's <laughs> it's surround sound, and that clock was just all around me there when I was spinning around the lobby. I couldn't make heads or tails of that. Wow. <laughs> that was very uh, mind-boggling. Very confusing. Louie, where the heck are you? This is really strange. It is noon. He should be in the office. So you are becoming more suspicious, my friend, and... Yeah, little Miss Blinker. I always catch her. It's like... It's like, uh, what do you call it? It's just like a habit at this point. I have to stop. Okay, so let's give him one hour, because he's into, like... Seven, I think. I can't remember. Or noon till something. Noon to seven, I think. I can't be certain. <clears throat> so, if he's not in there this time, though, unfortunately, folks, we will have to say goodbye for now and we'll go to the next episode. But what is Gumbo Foo? What is Gumbo Foo? Yes, Nancy. Ha! Gotcha. I got you right where I want you. The fireplace in the parlor didn't have a screen. Hmm. Do you know why the fireplace Watch in the parlor didn't have a you. screen? I no, I don't. Mm, no, no, I remember. I, I oh, was to purchase an uh -huh. antique fire screen, but never found a suitable match. I feel just terrible. I must apologize to Rose about this. Hmm. Do you believe him? I'm not sure I do. That was a little odd. Gumbo foo, here we go, guys. Do you know what gumbo foo means? Where did you hear that? I read about it in a magazine. I see. Mm. As I recall, it means house of great books. After the great earthquake, many books and documents were stored in private homes to save them from the fires. The Chinese called those houses gumbo foo. Ah, oh, I like that. Gumbo foo, house of books. I won't keep you any longer. Okay. Thank you, Nancy. But now I wonder, <clears throat> does Gumbo Fu mean House of Books, or does it mean House of Gold? Are we getting the full truth here? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is she gonna blink. Yep. <laughs> Two blinks in one episode. How about that? Okay. Hello. Maybe Abby knows as well. Do you know what gumbo foo means? Gumbo foo? I love gumbo. What kind of gumbo is gumbo foo? <laughs> I'll let you get back to what you were doing. <laughs> Bye. Okay. It's definitely not. Abby knows nothing about it. <laughs> oh, man. She thinks we're talking about food. Hello. Okay. Oh. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Bye, Nancy. All right. Well, Rose, we can't ask Rose. I think we need to ask Charlie before we ask Rose. I think the girls said that we should check in with everyone. Hi, before, Nancy. Uh, What's up? Before we check in with Rose. Do you know what the words gumbo foo mean? I'm not sure. I've never heard that before. We haven't either until I'll today. I'll let you get back <laughs> to your renovation. So long. So long. Farewell. Avida saying goodbye. Adieu. Adieu. See ya and ya and ya. Okay. I'm glad you dropped oh, by. Oh, here we go. You know, I wanted to tell you that you'll be alone in the house for a while. Everyone is going to the Winter Festival, and Charlie's studying for finals. I also took down one of the tapestries in your room for dry cleaning, and what was the other thing? Oh, a messenger dropped off a letter for you. I put it in your room. Oh. <sighs> okay, folks. 
Do you feel that? Do you feel that chill down your spine? Down, down your back? <sighs> this is it. That trigger, this um, alternating switch of events here. We're going to be alone in the house. Ew, first of all, because this place is extremely haunted. I guess we'll find out if Abby's not here and it's still haunted, then it's genuine. Second of all, you know that something's going down if this is changing. Like, she, she, everyone's leaving. There's a big scene coming up, I feel like, or something. Or we're going to trigger some. We're going to find out more. I mean, just the fact that we have the whole house to ourselves, we have ample opportunity to examine everyone's space and to see if we can find any more evidence. So I really feel like we're going to get down with the nitty gritty here. And I'm very scared. I'm very scared. I'm nervous. <laughs> All right, but she, look, on a side note though, Rose, Rose, baby, you deserve this. Go out and relax. Winter festival sounds like a lot of fun. Get yourself a hot chocolate. Spike that up with some Baileys, you know what I'm saying? You deserve it. Frig. She must have calluses on those fingers, tapping away on that freaking calculator all day long. I can see you're busy. Thank I'll you. let you go. Take care. Well, folks, that's it. I think it's appropriate that we end the episode here <laughs> since we went about probably five six minutes over our recording time <laughs> sorry <laughs> uh well worth it though we got a lot we got a lot of headway here we've made a lot of um discoveries we've got a lot of new information here we figured out what gumbo foo means gumbo foo means house of great books or house of many books um which was a significant uh a significant um name or a uh, title for a home that housed great uh, a lot of books which is sorry significant because there was that big uh, fire of 1906 in California and San Francisco so a lot of documents were not preserved after that so if there was a house that did have a lot of uh, literature and history then it was seen as as a gumbo food kind of cool I like that <laughs> um, yeah so this is getting really heated I know we're at the we're getting to the cusp of this now I think I feel I feel 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 like we're really getting to the bottom of this it's getting a lot closer than than we think especially now that everyone's going to be leaving the house in our next episode <laughs> so i'm really scared i'm very worried that we may have to take a lot of second chances in the next episode anyways <laughs> oh gosh but anyways who's your favorite character so far i i know i've asked this a few times but i feel like every episode it changes because you know People become more suspicious, people become less suspicious, etc, etc. So I think for myself, Rose is still my ultimate all-time favorite character. I think she's the greatest person. I just, she's so great. She works very hard, diligently. You can tell she's not suspicious of anything. She's just a hard-working gal who, you know, seems very lighthearted and lots of fun. And probably a very fun partier after a few rum and cokes. Just saying. But anyways, thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate y'all playing with me. And it is my full pleasure working with you guys. I love doing this. I love sharing this experience with you guys. It means a great deal to me because um, I get to have fun with others. We get to have fun and we get to solve a mystery together. And it's just, it's a great connection for us virtually to, to come together with the mutual love of Nancy Drew Games. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, that's all we can do for now but till next time i feel like it's going to be very exciting so stay tuned we're getting to the bottom of this mystery guys keep your notes handy and i got mine right here and we will see you in the next episode all right folks toodles for now ta-ta ciao Howdy folks! Did you like that video? Well then why don't you go ahead and give that thumbs up a smackaroo. Don't want to miss out on the next episode? Give the subscribe button some love and make sure to turn your notifications on. That way I can give you a bell a ring, let you know that it is served. Still need more to chew on? Take a bite of my new YouTube Instagram account at J Space to keep up to date with the channel's inner workings and news of upcoming projects and episodes. Thanks for watching. See you next time.